Four more apartment complexes in central Indiana are using DNA tests to hold dog owners accountable for the do their dogs do. <laughs> if your dog dealt it, they'll test it and they'll pay, make you pay a fine. News 8's Brenna Donnelly has the scoop. Brenna? Yeah, you got it. Some folks just don't clean up after their dogs and you can't prove whose do is whose, right? Well, the city of Carmel has been using the Poo Prince DNA labs for years to enforce a clean park, and it's since caught on with Carmel Apartments and now into downtown Indianapolis. He loves running. And Dogs are cute. Hi, cute. Friendly. Oh, that's a good one. But not always glamorous. Dog feces is a big problem. It's a health concern, and a lot of dog park users get turned off by it. So three years ago, Carmel Parks and Rec implemented a new rule at their central dog park. You have to provide a cheek swab from your dog for a DNA profile. The dog DNA uh, is on record so that if we have an accident out on the turf that doesn't get cleaned up, we go ahead and submit that profile and then we can reach out to that member and let them know that we have a problem. They're DNA testing ditched dog do and dumping a fine on the owners. The fine is about $80, and that's to uh, compensate for the test. Tanya Routabush says she's been fined before. Uh, I got an email, which I, I was very surprised to hear we'd missed one. And she thought the dog park was bluffing. I actually got the name of the lab in Kentucky and called them and found out it was a real program that they're running. But in the end, she was fine with the fine. I thought it was sort of uh, over the top, but now it makes total sense. I've been involved in dog park management in other places, and this is very unique. And uh, I got to say, it's, a, it's somewhat of a breath of fresh air, believe it or not, because it's so clean out here. Now, several central Indiana apartment complexes have scooped up the idea. You know, there are people who don't care about the mess um, and don't care if it bothers somebody else. Katie Wright says knowing you could be caught has cut down on excess excrement. There is a fine. Um, could start anywhere from $200 to $1,000, depending on how um, bad the mess is. So whether you do or do not agree, maintenance management says it's made a difference. We're not concerned about watching our step. Now, the Seasons of Carmel 9 on Canal and Access Properties also use the company Poo Prince. Carmel Parks and Rec are the first city organization to use it. They held a national conference on dog parks last month and explained their doggy DNA droppings. They said the visiting agencies loved the idea. Guys? <laughs> okay, Brenna, thank you for that update.